Hi, I'm Mino Jong from Seoul, Korea. Class 2 mandibular deficiency is one of the most common problems in our field. If the main skeletal problem is mandibular growth deficiency, growth enhancement of the mandible seems to be the reasonable therapeutic goal. But all the randomized controlled trials and long-term studies show that it is not possible to effectively increase mandibular growth in the long term. If we can control mandibular growth in these patients, it will be more desirable. Growth hormone is a peptide hormone that stimulates growth. In growth hormone deficiency, jaw growth is also affected, and growth hormone treatment induces a more prognathic growth pattern. Sometimes, growth hormone therapy is tried for adolescents of short stature. What changes will happen in their mandible? A 13-year-old boy with chief complaint of proclined maxillary incisors and a retreated chin came to my clinic. He showed a mild dental spacing and a large object. There was a mild class 2 dental relationship on both sides. He had a protrusive lip profile and severe lip incompetency. A large AMB angle, a protrusive maxilla, and a retrusive mandible were observed. After discussion, the second primal extraction to improve the lip profile and fixed functional appliance treatment to correct class II relationship were chosen. The height of this patient was around the bottom 10% of the age. For this reason, he started growth hormone treatment during leveling and continued for two years. The patient's height successfully increased. After sonic treatment, overbite and overjet were improved. Facial photographs demonstrate a balanced facial profile and a natural form of the chin area. Lip incompetency was improved and mental section was eliminated. You can see the dramatic changes in his profile. The pogonion moved forward by 9.6 millimeters. The AMB decreased from 7.3 to 4.1. Based on the large amount of ramal growth and counterclockwise rotation of the mandible, the profile improved significantly. It was impossible to determine whether the functional appliance treatment enhanced the effect of growth hormone or growth hormone therapy alone caused these skeletal changes. Anyway, Mandibular growth was very impressive. To use growth hormone for class II treatment, several questions should be answered. We need to know the adequate dose for this proposed. Possible adverse effects should be evaluated. Cost of growth hormone is high. If lower dose can increase the jaw growth, it will alleviate this problem. I hope growth hormone treatment can be used to treat mandibular deficiency patients in the future. And it will greatly expand the area of our treatment. Thank you for your kind attention.